Oh, no way. That merlion that I saw the other day in Singapore? Well, I have found the mother of all merlions. Check it out, it is huge. Sentosa Island. So if you didn't see my last video, I was actually here last night um, to see the Pokemon Carnival, which was really cool. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. Yeah, but apparently there is a lot to do on this island. Like it is a really popular touristic spot because there's Universal Studios, there's like a huge aquarium, there's nice beaches, there's a lot to do around here. So I'm going to spend the day here and just relax, chill and enjoy myself. <laughs> oh, no way. That merlion that I saw the other day in Singapore? Well, I have found the mother of all merlions. Check it out, it is huge. <laughs> One big ass merlion, and you can even go like right up into its mouth. So you got to pay to go up there, though. I don't know how much it costs, but I'll be happy not to get eaten by the merlion today. <laughs> So this Wings of Time show behind me, this starts at 7.40pm and 8.40pm, that's when their shows are every night, but sadly I'm not going to be able to see it, but when I left last night I saw it from the train station, just a little bit of it, and wow, <laughs> that show looks amazing. So it's kind of like the light show they have um, like in the middle of Singapore, but I think this one is actually better. So if you get a chance and you're around Sentosa Island, definitely check out this show. It does cost, but I'm not 100% sure of the price. Yes, I do. Price is right here. Standard seat, $18. There you go. As I said previously, there's a bunch of fun activities to do on this island. And one of them right behind me is the Sky Lounge Luge. So if you don't know what a luge is, it's pretty much just like a, it's kind of like a go-kart without a motor and you're just rolling down a hill and you just sort of got to steer your way down a hill but there's a cable car that takes you all the way up to like the top of the hill and then you just roll down <laughs> it's really really fun like I, I did it years ago when i was in new zealand and yeah it's well worth it i was worried you blow my reputation but the figure is not on me yeah 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 the way you're making me show your hands on myself i keep pulling the trigger right this very finger for people like them oh no no Oh yeah, now we're talking. Singapore has some beautiful beaches, but I think it's time for a swim. Awesome. They have the AJ Hackett bungee and swing here as well. So AJ Hackett is just like a huge adrenaline based company so they usually just do bungee jumps and the, the big swings and that but when I was in New Zealand uh, at the start of the year I did uh, bungee jump through them and it was the highest one in New Zealand and it was the biggest thrill rush ever. It was so much fun. Scared you <laughs> But this one here, it's not a big bungee jump, like you go all the way out there, but you jump into the pool 
well, you sort of dip into the pool in this one by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, I really want to see someone do it, but I, I don't think there's anyone doing it at the moment. I'll come back later, hopefully there is. And another adrenaline rush activity you can do is the zip line. It's above me somewhere. <laughs> so, oh yeah, so you can go like, you start all the way up there and then you zip line across the beach, over the water, onto the other side, onto the other little island. I saw a sign and it said it can get up to 60 kilometers an hour, which would be friggin' awesome. I haven't done a zip line in a long, long time. I don't think I'll be doing this one though. <laughs> These all seem to be beautiful beaches though, like just from, you go from beach to beach to beach and there's many resorts around these areas too so i feel like this island is just huge on resorts um, if you want to stay here you can but it's one of those things that will probably cost a lot more than usual and they got all the cable cars too so you can get like the cable cars along the whole island um, and you can get it over to this island as well but you'd get in a mate up there <laughs> the zip line's going again <laughs> <laughs> that looks cool. But yeah, um, yeah, that's sort of an easy way to get around, but that does also cost a little bit as well. Oh, crikey, look what we got over here. Is that a goanna? I didn't know they had goannas here. Kind of looks like one. We have goannas in Australia that look exactly like that, but I guess that could be something else. It's just a big ass lizard. See you, mate. <laughs> That's not a bad view of the bay. And so that's the cable car where you can start and get yourself over to the island if you wanted to. Ah, it's so warm though. Jeez, it's warm in Singapore. Like, the humidity here is ridiculous. It's actually hotter here than it was in Bali. And it was pretty hot in Bali. <laughs> I'm just melting. <laughs> My number one weakness, 7-Eleven Slayer Beats. Mm. These are perfect for a hot day like this. Oh yes, I might get lucky here. I think someone's setting up for the bungee. Oh, I gotta watch this. There he is, he's up there. He's right up the top. There we go. What if he's gonna hit the pool? Ah! <laughs> ah, it didn't even hit the pool. Ah, well, that wasn't that exhilarating. <laughs> I thought it was at least going to, like, dunk into the pool and then come up. But literally the one I did in New Zealand was three times higher than that, I think. And that was, wow, that was just insane. But fun fact, the AJ Hackett, they actually have a 100% safety rating and they've been running for, like, the past... I think it's like past 20 years. So yeah, it is very, very safe to do a bungee jump through them. No matter how friggin' freaky it seems.
Ah, oh, what a chilled out day has been here at Sentosa Island. I feel like if you have a bit of cash to spare, wow, this concrete's hot and I'm wearing no shoes. <laughs> um, I feel like if you have a bit of cash to spare, you could easily spend a good few days here. Like if you're staying in the resorts here too, because you got all your theme parks, you got Universal Studios. So I think Universal Studios is like $75. Um, I'm pretty sure they have the world's biggest aquarium, so that would be cool to see. And all the crazy adrenaline activities you can do too. So there is plenty to keep, plenty activities to keep yourself entertained around here. But I'm a budget backpacker, so I can't do it all. <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed relaxing today. And sadly, this is my last day throughout Singapore, or my last full day, I'm leaving tomorrow to go down to Java and then continue my journeys from there. But because I really want to see more throughout Singapore, I think I'm gonna be back um, when I travel down through Malaysia. So I'll be back guys, I'll be back to this beautiful country. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'm going to head back to the hostel because we have a free scooter ride. Boom, boom. <laughs> Bye.